yes there are several ways of washing your poultry or chicken house to prevent the occurrence of diseases but there is only one way to do it right you didn't hear me well i'll say it again there are several ways of washing your poultry or chicken house to prevent the outbreak of diseases that takes away the capital or even the profit on your investment but there is only one way to do it right and that one way to do it right is what i'll be showing you in this video so you want to stick with me and watch this video to the very end to ensure that you get every bit of it let's continue yeah hello guys welcome back to my channel DIY agri i'm your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner yes that's the number one guy that is after the success of your poultry farming business so if you're just joining us i would like you to hit the subscribe button so that you won't miss informative tips that i keep sharing every now and then and um, if you want to also get notifications when new videos are dropped you can click the notification bell right there so today is one of the days that um, a lot of people don't often talk about in poultry business this is the day that um, you want to clean your house and you want to disinfect the house It's one of the most tedious parts of the job actually and there are many ways to do your cleaning your poultry house cleaning there are several ways to do it but there's only one right way to do it yes a lot of people get things messed up just because of the way that they cleaned and disinfected their poultry house from the method that you use and the choice of disinfectant that you use there is only one right way and today i'll be showing you that one way to do it right in such a way that you are able to avoid diseases on your farm so i want you to stick with me and ensure that you watch this video to the very end because you'll be getting so much from it yeah in poultry farming you don't take anything for granted yes there are little little mistakes that cost you a lot of money they cost you so much in the course of your poultry business so you want to ensure that you do everything right so number one thing you want to do when you are trying to clean and disinfect your poultry house your chicken house is that you want to remove all removables everything every temporary structure like this partition over here yes you want to remove them to one side and if there's anything that water can destroy you can remove them completely these feeders if um, if they were this one that we just placed on the floor we would have removed them on one side but this is the hanging feeder and it's fine with water so and also the chemical the disinfectant we're going to use is not really uh, harmful on the plastic so we're going to just leave it but one thing i want to remove is my gas brooder yes i'm going to detach the hose right here and ensure that i remove it so you want to remove all removables and then you want to focus on the floor first you want to focus on the floor after you clear the wood shavings you can see the wood shavings i packed over there and i'm still going to get it out there's a pit where i'm going to drop it so after you remove the wood shavings you're going to have to sweep yeah you're going to have to sweep the house yes you can't get the whole place cleaned up just like that no not not so quick so you want to you want to sweep the whole place out and then you focus on the floor like i said you are going to see uh spots where the feces of the the last batch of chicken that you raised the, their feces will stick to the ground so you want to soak the floor and when soaking the floor don't forget there are many ways to do it but there's only one way to do it right and one way to do something right is by saving costs so it will not be effective if you just pour soap solution maybe detergent or chemicals you just pour it on the bare floor that is still so much uh, littered with poop no just wet the floor first with water yes because you need to make sure that you soak up those um poop and ensure that they, are, can, they can be easily washed so once you do that and um, you are going to employ the um, power of your pressure washer after soaking the poop for about let's say 30 minutes or so 
then you can engage your pressure washer and first of all clear that in doing that when, when washing that you can also remove the cobwebs so you don't just focus on the floor at that time you remove the cobwebs so that's the first kind of rinsing and washing then you can soak the floor with your detergent solution and disinfectant yes it depends on this depending on the size of the house you can um, you can just get the solution inside a bucket and you can so wet the floor with that disinfectant solution and you can also use your pressure washer like i'll be showing you to apply the disinfectant solution so there's a low pressure um control that you that will allow you to you know apply the disinfectant solution in that manner so after that there's what we know as contact time contact time of each disinfectant contact time is very very important so you want to ensure that based on the manufacturer's guide you allow the disinfectant to stay on the ground for the amount of contact time stated on the manufacturer's guide so if it is 30 minutes if it is two hours you allow the disinfectant to stay like that it is after this that you can now wash the whole house again you wash everywhere you ensure that um, every residue is washed off and you rinse effectively this is the process this is the process you don't just um, enter the house and just use disinfectant or you just use a soap, soap solution maybe detergent solution you just wash the whole place and you rinse no 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 don't forget you have to first ensure that you don't waste your resources if you wash with disinfectant solution or your um, or soap solution when the whole place is still uh, caked up with poop then it will reduce that organic matter will reduce the effectiveness of your disinfectant and your detergent solution so it's like you're just wasting resources and then if you don't allow enough contact time you won't be getting results you will tell people when the vet asks you did you disinfect the house the last time you say yes yeah, yes yes but then you didn't as far as the disease causing pathogens are concerned you didn't it's more like you just slapped a cockroach you didn't kill it so you need to learn how to do it right and here is one place that you always learn how to do it right DIY Hagrick if you have not subscribed you want to hit the subscribe button right away so you'll be a member of this community and you don't miss any of the tips that I'll be sharing so hang on while I continue with the process so if you ask me cleaning the outside of the house is as important as cleaning the inside so I decided to go around the house and apply the disinfectant solution using the pressure washer after this I will be rinsing the whole house and that is just about it that's how to clean and disinfect your poultry house as you have seen in the video the disinfectant used here is the Morigard Jamicide very soon i'll be making another video where i'll be comparing the available disinfectants that you can use for your poultry house and i'll also be talking about their strengths their efficacy and all that if you have enjoyed this video please click the like button if you are yet to subscribe please also click the subscribe button and if you would like to receive notifications when new videos are dropped please click the bell button Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.